first then. As I just mentioned, President Obama says the U.S. has evidence that chemical weapons have been used in Syria. He also said it would be a game-changer for the U.S., although only if it's proved the arms are being used by the government. Let's talk to our New York correspondent, Marina Portnoy, now, shall we? Marina, hi there. Um, that's the crucial thing, a game-changer if used by the government. What, a, what though, if it turned out uh, when the investigators go in, they do a bit more rooting around, that it was the rebels that were using it, if, they've ha if they have been used at all? What then? Well, uh, U.S. President Barack Obama failed to address that option. The only uh, option that he gave was uh, a scenario in which he said if the U.S. finds out that the Syrian government has used chemical weapons against the rebels, then uh, Obama strongly indicated that the U.S. would consider military intervention. But he did not address what would happen if it was, in fact, the rebels or members of the opposition that uh, have used chemical weapons uh, throughout this ongoing uh, uh, conflict. Conflict and war taking place inside Syria. Now, uh, the, this U.S. Uh, intervention, uh, the, the, uh, this ongoing uh, two-year uh, civil war, uh, has of course drawn the attentions of, of the U.S. and Western allies. And, and uh, the West has taken the side of the opposition and indicated that uh, uh, Syrian President Bashar al-Assad has to go. But at this point, Barack Obama says that U.S. intelligence officials don't know uh, who has used. Uh, uh, chemical weapons inside of Syria, how they were used or when they were used. The U.S. cannot confirm if it was, in fact, Damascus who's used the weapons. Mm -hmm. Now, Obama said that his administration uh, doesn't have a chain of custody that establishes exactly what has happened in Syria. And uh, in the meantime, Damascus and the opposition have repeatedly accused one another of using chemical weapons. On Tuesday, Syria's ambassador to the U.N. alleged that terrorist groups fighting alongside the rebels uh, had used chemical material during an attack near the city of Idlib uh, and, uh, a, and attempted to uh, blame that incident on the Syrian government. In the meantime, the United Nations says Damascus has so far refused to allow a team of experts inside the country to investigate the use of chemical weapons. But Syrian officials say they would like a detailed list of what UN officials would be probing before uh, entering the country. But uh, as you, you know, going back to your initial question, uh, the U.S. president has not indicated if uh, the opposition in Syria would suffer any consequences if it is found out that they are the ones that uh, used chemical weapons. Now, Marina, I was talking to a number of journalists today, wasn't he? Some other sensitive issues uh, came up, were talked about. What were they? That's right. Uh, one of the many sensitive issues Obama addressed was uh, the issue of closing the prison at Guantanamo Bay. He said the idea that the U.S. would still detain a group of individuals indefinitely without trial is contrary to the interests, reputations, and morals of America. But while the U.S. president has shown his strong will to close the prison, he lacks the necessary support from Congress. And that support is what would give Obama the authority and the funding to close the prison. And uh, now, uh, Obama Obama's comments come, of course, as the hunger strike at Guantanamo Bay prison enters its 84th day. This is a story that RT uh, first reported uh, back in March and has continued uh, to cover. We were among the first to cover it. And now, as of Monday, at least 100 detainees uh, are believed to be starving themselves. A reported 21 are being force fed, five of whom are being hospitalized. Of the 166 detainees still languishing at Gitmo, more than half have been cleared. For for release. Uh, one other important issue that the U.S. president addressed in his uh, press conference uh, was uh, the issue of the Boston bombings and uh, Russia's cooperation in the ongoing investigation. That is what uh, Obama underscored, that Moscow is uh, very much helping Washington uh, with its ongoing probe. Now, as we've been reporting in 2011, Moscow did warn Washington about Tamerlan Tsarnaev's possible links to extremist groups. Obama said that the Boston bombings illustrate the danger of self-radicalization of possible terrorists inside the United States. And he's instructed his counterterrorism team to figure out what can be done to prevent and or identify self-radicalization. Report Naira, correspondent in New York. Thank you.